Hello, I am Chris with The Goosh, and today I got three GRE math tips for you. First one is, you really want to make sure you dust off your mental calculator. That's right. Many of us are not used to doing mental math these days, and we get onto the GRE, we start overly relying on the calculator or doing these time-consuming jots in the margin, and then we get back to the question and we forgot where we were. A lot of the math on the GRE, all you need to do is some relatively simple calculations. However, they won't seem simple unless you dust off your mental calculator. So here's a quick thing you can try. Do prime factorizations in your head. Maybe you're waiting for the bus, the car, your friend. Who knows? But like, let's take 84. What are, the, what are two factors of 84? Now, if you're unsure, you can divide 84 by 2, which is 42. What's 42 divided by 2? 21. So now we have 4 times 21. What are the factors of 21? Ah. 3 and 7, and 4 itself can it be 2 squared. So 2 squared times 3 times 7, that's the prime factorization of 84. Playing little games like this over time will help you definitely dust off that mental calculator. Tip number two. Meditating, meditating, meditating. Oh, hello. Tip number two. Be aware of the careless mistakes you make. Don't just say, I made a careless error. Instead, be as specific as possible. So if you read the wrong part of a question and you tend to rush through the question and miss what it's actually asking, that's specific. Or if you tend to scribble off into the margins of the scratch paper so that you're not even sure what your final answer is and you end up circling the wrong thing, that is also a specific kind of careless error. The more you are aware of the specific kind of careless error, the more likely you are to avoid it in the future. Tip number three. And the final tip I have for you is to train your math performance. What do I mean by that? Well, you can know your concepts, you can drill pretty well in practice sets, but when it comes to doing an entire section testing where you have to focus minute after minute, problem after problem, you want to really work on that performance. And so you want to train that by doing as many practice tests as possible, and by, of course, improving your concentration and focus so you don't make any careless errors and you can max out your potential. For more information about GRE, check us out at gre.magoosh.com.